Well, it shouldn't be long before we see George Santos either removed from Congress or put into jail over his fraud. Well, this morning, the future of disgraced Congressman George Santos remains up in the air. The House voted yesterday to refer a Democratic-sponsored resolution to kick Santos out of Congress to the House Ethics Committee. The referral was approved in a vote along party lines, 221 to 204. Well, after the vote, Santos said he believed the chamber made the right decision and he intends to let the process play out. I have not not done my job since I've gotten here. Uh, I can chew and walk gum at the same time. I, can <laughs> I have not not done my job. Yeah, you haven't done your job. What have you done, Santos, besides just get caught up? And the scandals you created for yourself. Chew gum and walk at the same time. I have been not been convicted of any crime. You insist in saying that. I will have my day to defend myself. Have you NBC News congressional correspondent Julie Serkin joins us now with more on this. Hey, Julie. But what is there to defend? I, I mean, it, everybody knows he lied. He's admitted to it. So, so what can he do but just be punished. Really good morning. So the House voted to refer the resolution to kick Santos out of Congress to the House Ethics Committee. Explain what happens next. Yeah, good morning, Savannah. So the Ethics Committee is a bipartisan panel. It's led by Democrat Susan Wild and Republican David Joyce of Ohio. And this panel has already been looking into all of the allegations against Congressman George Santos since early March. So that's one of the arguments that Democrats, especially those that supported that original resolution to expel Santos from Congress, uh, that's the argument they have made, that the ethics panel has already been looking into this. Referring this resolution to the panel won't do much to speed up that process or add to what the ethics panel is already looking into. But that's that's basically where it's going to sit for an X amount of time. That panel tends to operate very much behind closed doors. They don't really have an open dialogue with the public or the press into what they're doing and what they're investigating. But they're also looking into other allegations, other lies that Santos has told, including uh, allegedly an improper re sexual relationship with one of his former staffers. That was referred to the panel as well, while all of these outside investigations play out. Julie, also, our viewers probably remember just last week, Santos pleaded not guilty to 13 criminal charges that included fraud, money laundering, a bunch of other crimes. He's already said he's running for re-election. There is no law, no precedent that says a member of Congress can't continue to serve while indicted or even convicted. So if he's not... That needs to change. If you're indicted on various federal crimes, you should have to be required to temporarily uh, vacate your position and have it filled with a tempo person until your case is over. And if you're convicted, well, you shouldn't be allowed to run for Congress again uh, because you've shown previously that you're just going to abuse the authority planning to resign he's already talking about re-election this is really up to the ethics committee to decide his future in congress is that right well, kind of. And the Ethics Committee investigation into Santos can take longer than the two years that he's going to serve in Congress. So you're right. Technically, if that investigation is still happening, all of these outside investigations, including the one where he was indicted in New York, is still in the process of going on. Technically, nothing is stopping Santos from running again. But remember, he did win in a district where Biden won in 2020. So it is traditionally a Democrat district. And on top of that, the leader of his Republican Party, Speaker McCarthy in the House, already said that he's not going to support a Santos re-election bid. Here, though, is some reaction from Democrats, including a freshman Democrat from New York. Watch. It is a cop-out. And that at the end of the day, it is a way of avoiding the accountability on this expulsion motion. And we should not refer this matter to the Ethics Committee. That res this resolution is already there. Now, every Republican should stand up and join us to defend this body and expel George Santos. Now, I will say Democrats and Republicans, for that matter, including those five freshman Republicans that are Santos's colleagues that have called for him to resign but supported this uh, move to move this resolution. Bell Santos to the Ethics Committee. This can all build pressure on Speaker McCarthy, who really has the final say of what happens to Santos and his career. All right, Julie Serkin, thank you so much.